Hello everyone, um, as she said, my name is uh, Gisla Dimon and I work for a company named Toby Technology. Uh, there is a little mix-up in the program uh, because until a couple of months ago I was employed by Viking Software and Toby Technology bought Viking Software so it's not a big deal, it's just we are now called Toby Technology. Uh, well, um, just uh, as a, just going to say, if you want to interrupt me throughout my presentation, that would be okay, and we'll have some time afterwards. A little presentation. Uh, Toby Technology. Uh, is a leading vendor in technology and in, in solutions regarding eye tracking. Uh, we were founded in 2001 uh, by students, uh, Swedish students, who wanted to uh, improve uh, eye tracking. Uh, they looked at the systems out there and they saw a way to make another one which they thought was better. So, hopefully we could meet some of the requirements that John Hansen had earlier. Uh, our two main uh, areas are eye tracking, uh, that is uh, where when, you, when, you, when a computer knows exactly where a user is looking. Uh, it's used for research, uh, both academic and uh, market research. Uh, we can use the technology to, to do research on, on where uh, someone should put their product on a shelf. So, we know where you're looking. Uh, and uh, we've gone into eye control. That's when you can uh, interact with a computer using gaze. Uh, my Toby eye control. Uh, how is it used? Well, uh, you just sit down in front of the computer or the screen, and the system automatically detects the person in front. Uh, there is uh, a one time calibration uh, to improve the accuracy of the system, but then you're you're free to go. Uh, as I said, the system remembers you, so it's a one-time only calibration. Underlying principle. Uh, the MyTobe uh, have four infrared lights aimed to the, towards the user. Uh, the infrared light is reflected in the cornea and the reflection is detected in the built-in sensors. Uh, then they use the uh, 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 image analysis and mathematic formulas way over my head uh, to, uh, uh, to, um, to, to know where you are looking where the gaze is focused. Uh, for the system to, to work, you have to, there is an area that, uh, let's call it a detection area. Uh, it's the, the best distance, the optimal distance is 60 centimeters from the screen, but you have quite a lot, a lot of movement you can do within that box and the system uh, continuously uh, follow you. So, uh, there's no recalibration or anything if you move around in front of the screen. And, as I said, if you move out of this box, uh, then you can't uh, use the system, but as soon as you're inside the box again, the system remembers you, and you're on and you're free to go. 
there are some problems. Um, John earlier listed up some. The one he, one he missed is that the uh, eyes are a sensory organ. Therefore, it, the focus always jitters a bit. Uh, so when one tries to focus on the blue dot, your gaze actually jitters like this. And if you then would try to move a cursor, a mouse cursor, it would jitter a bit. Uh, of course, then we could mask this, just make a bigger dot, so that the user wouldn't uh, detect or see the jittering. Another problem is mouse cursor. Uh, as I said, the eyes are a sensory organ, and it detects movement. Uh, therefore, if everyone, that is a bit of a challenge for you, if everyone tries to look at the red star, <coughs> now, you will experience that your eyes will follow the mouse cursor. So if there is a mouse cursor moving around on the screen, your eyes will automatically try to follow it. So you would have a, uh, an offset. Of course, with a bit of training, you can, of course, use uh, the moving of the cursor. But what we have done is to move the, take away the cursor. And as I said, we filtered the gaze data. And we've used the thing that movement attracts gaze. So when we, when we in our system, you always get a visual feedback where you're looking, not the other way around. You're not moving a cursor. The system gives you visual feedback on where you're looking. You're not trying to push around or a mouse cursor. Why do the world need another eye tracking system? Why is this developed? As I said, three students, uh, I didn't say three, but now I said it, students tried to figure out if the, the world needed another gaze interaction system. And what they found when they looked at the existing uh, gaze interaction systems, was that they had wonderful add-on cameras, large bulky designs, and complicated external wiring. These were the three things that they wanted to do improve. And they came up with the Mitel B P10. Uh, there are a couple of Mitel B P tens here today, I think. One over there, and one down there. Uh, there are no moving add-on cameras. There is a sensor built in the unit right here. Uh, the infrared lighting is also internal. There's a light behind there, there, there and there. You won't see the light because, it's, as I said, it's infrared. Um, and, of course, you have the screen and the computer in one device. Matobi uh, have patented their uh, gaze attracting system and it improves accuracy because movement attracts uh, it, as I said, it compensates for head movements and it is a device developed for communication. The P10 is, the, uh, is designed for communication. Of course, we have other systems that are for market research, but this one is for communication and computer interaction. Uh, as I said, the system automatically detects the person in front and there is a 
one time calibration and the system remembers you. So if you have to go to the toilet or you have to go to sleep or you have to turn it off because it's night, it remembers you all the time. You have the direct, direct access to the buttons because you have the moving thing within the button. And it's fairly uncomplicated settings. There are not thousands of settings, but the ones that are there are very fairly easy to set up. And of course, we need a robust design. The Bytobi software uh, is continuously updated with free updates. Uh, the last uh, update was the chat, which support MSN chatting, online chatting, the web browser, and the document browser. The web browser is an internet browser. Uh, the document browser allows you to browse through documents in My Documents on your computer. So you can browse through documents only with the use of only your eyes. And we have uh, something that we call, call uh, MyToby enabled software. Uh, the Gaze Talk that uh, John spoke of earlier is uh, such a software. The Grid is such a software, and there are many more. Uh, in, as I said, uh, Toby bought Viking Software, and Viking Software had developed a communication and access system. It's a, it's a computer program that lets you access your computer and use it for communication. There are both text and symbol-based display, communication displays. There are on-screen keyboards that allows Windows application, the use, the full use of Windows application. And it's fast and easy to customize. So you can change the appearance, you can change the layout, and you can uh, change the content in the displays. It also has plugins enabling, of course, writing uh, with word prediction, SMS, email, and environmental control. I didn't say this earlier, but the MyToby also has a built-in environmental control. So you can uh, turn on and off your TV set, your CD player, radio, whatever. As long as, of course, as long as the, the, the systems that you want to uh, turn on and off or set in play, they have to have infrared control, of course. So, uh, when you're using the uh, MyTelby and the VS Communicator, uh, you look at the buttons, and the buttons are act activated, and you, the letters are transferred into your document. Uh, as I said, there are word prediction, predicting the words, uh, based on the letters that you're typing. And when you're finished with your document or writing your document, you could speak it, or you can synth synthesize use synth using synthesized speech. Uh, you could send it on an uh, email or on an SMS. Of course, you would need a mobile phone and, uh, and internet connection to do that. And the MyToby has the connectors for internet.
The VS Communicator also has a lot of on-screen keyboards, customizable on-screen on keyboards, with, uh, of course, again, with word prediction. These buttons, uh, when they're customizable, uh, I don't know if everyone knows what that means, but of course, then you could make it bigger, smaller, have less functionality, more functionality, whatever you need. Uh, on on-screen keyboard, meaning that you can use an on-screen keyboard to write into a Windows application, being Word, Excel, PowerPoint. So you just look at the letters and they are sent into your document. And you can store it and use it as anyone, and anyone else would use uh, the documents. You can send them on an email or print them out. <coughs> the VS Communicator has lots of ready-made displays. Uh, they are organized in tabs. This is the text tab. This one. And these are some of the ready-made keyboards. You have symbol or pictures there in email, SMS, and you have a My Displays folder. Uh, every uh, display that you customize or you uh, start from scratch making a communication display, it would end up in My Display folder. So you can access it through there. So, what do you need? Do you need email? Do you need SMS? What are you going to use it for? Are you going to use it for education? Just writing? Games? The elements are there in the software. These are just some elements that the VS Communicator supports. And so you have to decide, you have to match it with what you need and what do the software supply. In the, in the VS Communicator there is a setup wizard. Uh, based on what you need and what the uh, software can supply, you just simply browse through the ready-made displays. Okay, you check one of them and see if this one fulfills your need. Does it has? Does it have SMS? Does it have email? Does or are you going to use it just for writing into documents? And when you browse through and figure out which board set you board set you want to use or display, you simply check the checkbox. Okay, I want that one, and I want that one. And I want that one. And of course, probably I would want many more, but for the example of it, this is how you do it. And when you check them, they end up in your home display. So I checked on three displays that I wanted. And the those three are previewed here, and these are also access buttons. So when they, this ends up on your MyToby, then you can just look at the button and you would enter the display. And you can start writing or SMSing or whatever. So far so good? So, just as a sum up, you have an easy setup wizard, adding displays, creating home panel. You can also use the setup wizard to config configure your communication device, that being uh, just setting up the mobile phone that you want to use for SMS, or setting up the email account. Lots of functionality.
and many ready-made displays. And the MyToby, all in one, all in one unit, rough, stable, no adjustments, you just simply sit down in front of the system, the system detects you, see if it remembers you. If you're new to the system, you have to do one calibration, and then it's just to improve the accuracy. Uh, and there are profiles. That's the thing that I didn't speak of earlier. That meaning if it's early on the day, you're rested, you can have one profile. Because you interact with the system using gaze and dwell time. So when you're away, when you're rested, well rested, you can use fast activations. And later on in the day, when you're tired, you can use another uh, dwell time, and then you just switch profile. Morning profile, midday profile, and evening profile. And there are a huge track box. You have the, the system can follow you for uh, about 30 centimeters of movement. Uh, and if you should uh, go out of the outside the track box, it automatically detects you when you come inside again. Some of you might wonder where we are. Well, Toby Technology are based in, uh, are in Norway, Sweden, uh, Germany and the US. Uh, but we can't uh, support the whole world from just these four offices. So we rely on a huge reseller network. So uh, through resellers we are uh, in, I think it's 20 countries now, I think. Uh, all over Europe except Iceland. Uh, in Denmark it's Farnosoft. And in Sweden, it's actually not ourselves, we, we work with Permobil. Um, but in Norway, we do direct sales through the technical aid centers. So, any more, uh, if you want any more uh, information, just go to the website www.toby.com and please feel free to contact us outside.